watching paint dry. Today we're going over step nine in the painting process and that's staining your deck. You're almost there. This is one of the last things you got to do and frankly it's not that hard. Now first thing I want to say is a word about the stain. We're putting a solid color acrylic deck stain on this deck. Now you might be using a semi-transparent deck stain or a semi-solid deck stain or a solid and to me what it really depends on is how old is the deck. If I were putting up a new deck I'd probably use something more natural that would show the qualities of the wood. But with an older deck you really want to start thinking about preserving the life of the deck as long as you can and to do that I recommend putting on some sort of a solid stain when you reach the deck age of maybe 15-20 years. Alright now first of all the equipment you're going to need to do your deck you're going to want a broom because even though you power washed your deck at this point it might have been a couple months ago. All right, but you definitely want to give it a good sweep. And if you've actually tracked mud or anything on it, you need to clean that off. All right, you're going to want a good long roller pole. You're going to need a cutting pot to brush out of. You're going to need a five gallon bucket with a ramp in it to roll out of. Now I already did the bench and that's going to be white as well as all the railings. Notice how I put a little bit of paper down the base of it just so I wouldn't be slopping white down in there. I'm going to remove that paper before I do this deck. These Sweeney rollers are really good for these deck railings. And it's also nice to have a cheap pair of foam knee pads. Um, a lot of painters consider these really wimpy. I've seen 55 year old guys crawling around on their bare knees. And I'd say those guys are tough. They're tougher than me. Now on the actual deck surface, there's only one main point that I want to make to you and that is that in order to get a really good look you need to roll your deck from one end all the way to the other and keep a wet edge. One more caveat, most deck stains will tell you not to apply them in the direct sunlight. That's a good idea. However, in this situation I'm going to apply about half of it in the direct sunlight. The reason I'm not worried about it today is because it's not a very hot day. It's still before noon and I'm just thinking that it's going to be all right. However, the other side of the house has a south facing deck that's already starting to bake. And within a couple hours, it's going to be very hot. I'm going to wait on that deck. I'm going to hit it in the morning someday before the sun's really on it. It's always better to put it on in the cool weather and out of the sunlight if possible. Okay, now it's starting to look good. Now, here's an issue some people face. Should you take a brush and try to run it inside every little crack? Well, I don't usually do that. It kind of depends on how picky you want to be. Usually if the top surface is done, most people aren't going to notice the cracks. However, if you're somebody that's going to notice them, then you might want to do that. Now, I was also having a problem as I did this little this stairs here. with uh, have, I was having a hard time getting enough of the uh, stain into the screw holes here. And so I'm actually switching to a thicker nap. You might want to go up to a three quarter inch, even inch and a quarter. It just depends on the surface, depends on what you're putting on it, okay? But always be willing to make adjustments as you go along. Oh, and the other thing I noticed is every time I was walking on and off the deck with my shoes, I was getting more pine needles and stuff up there. So now I'm taking my shoes off. Always lay it off back in the direction that you came from.
Okay, well that's pretty much all there is to it. Just remember to keep a wet edge all the way across. Now, if you're just jumping into this series of videos and you haven't seen the one on brushing and rolling your house, I recommend you check that out because there's a lot of helpful uh, hints in there about how to brush and roll and make it look good. And a lot of those would apply to the deck as well. Of course, that video is found on my website, howtopaintahouseright.com, where you'll find a lot of helpful information as well as a full series of videos that I've created to help you paint your house right.